guys, welcome back. So today is going to be a Shein plus size or Shein curve haul. If you haven't shopped from Shein before, it is super affordable. It is like quick shipping and um, run out of Asia every time that my package is shipped from China. But don't let that deter you. These were ordered on October 8th, shipped on October 9th, and it's October 15th and I'm filming this and I have them. So here we go. Um, we did a fun thing on this one. Let me just pan you down just a little bit. So we did a fun uh, kind of thing, my husband and I. I loaded my cart up with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> when I say a bunch, I mean like, I don't know, double what you're about to see. And I uh, gave him my login info, the coupon code to get 20% off and had him order whatever he wanted from the list. And, um, you know, we didn't have a budget in mind. He didn't, I just let him, I just like order me some stuff. Surprise me. And so he did. And of course I peaked, <laughs> but it's here now. This is not from Shein, but I will go ahead and share my stats in case you're curious. Um, I have kind of been on a Weight Watchers weight loss journey. So previously I was wearing two X's. Like this dress is a 2X, I'll step back in a second, it's from Amazon. Um, but I can no longer really wear my old clothes. So most of the stuff I'm ordering now in a 0XL or a 1X, the 12, 14. Um, I have very large arms, um, a small bust, probably a 36B, small upper waist to like a 35, and then little to no hips, I swear. My hips are like a 40. Um, but I do have like a droopy lower belly and big thighs, big legs. So that just kind of gives you the general outline. But so this dress is a 2X and um, when I like unbelt it, which this is from Amazon too, recently, just got like last week. Anyway, like when I wear a 2X, you know, I got nothing, but um, I don't feel very flattered. But once I add on a belt, this is on backwards, but twisted, but you get the idea. Like it really brings me in but I don't have hips really. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to unboxing everything. I have about $200, $240 worth of stuff. Um, and it was a hat, a belt, a pair of shoes, a pair of earrings, a shirt, a skirt, and seven dresses. I did make a handy little sheet here so we could fly through this. So I look like a picture from like some pumpkin patch family photos fall album. <laughs> But okay, I guess that's who I'm influenced by, right? All right, let's start from the head down. This is the simple fedora hat, one size. It comes in seven colors. This is beige. And I got it for $3.45. Um, it is beige. It comes with this little buckle thing that it was actually not even attached when I took it out of the sleeve. Um, so I suppose you could take it or leave it if you wanted to. $3.45. Like even if you wear this once to the pumpkin patch or uh, what's that? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Like, if you just need a cute hat, this is cute. So, I don't know how much sun protection. I feel like I don't have, like, I have an average sized head, and it's definitely not big. So, if you have a large head, I probably would pass on this. All right, next are the earrings. These are the acrylic geometric drop earrings in black. They come in four colors. They also come in a camel, a multicolor, which is dark teal, light blue, and gold, or a multicolor, which is like mauve and white. And these were only $2.59. So um, they have four varieties. Black, gray, and white is the one I got. Um, I, I actually quite like them, but previous experience tells me these will irritate my ears just because they're cheap. So they'd be the kind of thing that I would wear for photos and then I probably wouldn't wear them like all day. Okay, next is this shirt. Now this shirt is interesting. This is the only item I've ever gotten from Shein's like premium line. Um, and just keep in mind it was under $10, so whatever. It's not like super expensive, but it's the MOTF, I don't know what that's supposed to stand for, Curated Effortlessly Chic, um, Premium Plus Slim Rib T-shirt in a 1XL of 14 in tan, and it's supposedly gauzy. This was $8.62. So I will say it's true to size. It says it's a slim fit. Like we'll talk about this belt later in the skirt, but it is as close to being see-through as possible without actually being see-through. I'm wearing a nude bra and nude underwear in case that is relevant in any of the other things I try on. Um, so yeah, the sleeves are just a hair above the elbow. Oh, I did forget to tell you, I'm five foot two, so um, I, things might appear longer on me than if you were like 5'10", but anyway, um, this is my belly button. So past the hips, maybe mid-butt. 
Um, yeah, I think this is a really good fall basic. It might be a little see-through. I don't know, maybe. But I probably wouldn't wear this on its own anyway. This is a really lightweight fabric. It is kind of ribbed. I really like this, this the color though. Like imagine it with a jean jacket or with like a leather jacket or a cardigan. It's a good layering piece to have. Okay, so the belt, sorry if I found out, sound out of breath. I had COVID and then I got bronchitis. I'm using my asthma inhaler and uh, taking doxycycline for that. So <laughs> my breathing, if it sounds like labor, that's probably why, not feeling the best. But um, this is the simple plus size belt. Um, it is plus size, guys. It's supposed to fit 25.2 inches to 45.28 inches. This is in khaki. It was only $3.45. So again, my waist is right in the middle of that range. 25 to 45 or something like that. This thing is tight. It is teeny, teeny tiny. Like, I don't know if you can tell. But like, there is like no room. So when you actually take it out of the package, it's little. Like it looks like something my four year old would wear. So like if you put it on the tightest, it'd be like a headband. Okay, or like my thigh, like a garter for my thigh. It does stretch though. I mean, I will give it that, but this thing is tight. So when I actually wrap it around my waist, again, my smallest up here is 35. Like it's not gonna cut it, suck it in, but <laughs> it will, it does. I mean, even if I wanted like much tighter, I could, but I thought this would be good. I can't believe this is a plus size belt though. Oh my gosh, okay. Not a bad purchase. I would just say if you are the 3X, 4X, the person who has a 45 inch waist, this thing is going to be tight. Okay, now this skirt. This is the plus button front midi flared skirt 1XL in black. It was $12.07. It has buttons, but they are fake. Um, they are not real. There's no puffering. It has pockets. Again, I am five foot two. Um, I have it pulled to, this is my belly button. It's like right at my belly button. Five foot two and I'd say it's mini for sure. Not ankle length on a five foot two person, so I don't think it would be floor length on anybody. Uh, might be under the knee on someone who's really tall. This is below my knee. Um, but yeah, it is flowy and uh, obviously I haven't wrinkled, like it's wrinkled because I haven't, you know, steamed anything. Let me turn on the light on that side. That helps. But yeah, it's super stretchy. The one I saw, I feel like I definitely could have gone down a size, but no, I don't mind this size. It's super comfy. It's not going to give you like muffin top or anything. Um, yeah, I like the pockets. Let's see. Let's give it the pocket test. This, this is the true test. Foam all the way in doesn't fall out when you walk around. If you have a toddler, you know what I'm talking about. You don't have hands to hold things all the time. Anyway, I like this and the material is really nice. I feel like um, the it's lightweight enough, but it's like also Arizona winter. So I could wear it all through the fall and it would be totally fine. Let's do the shoes. Okay. So these are, I'm gonna step back for you. The vegan leather wide fit slip on sandals multicolor they call them these are beige they also come in black burnt orange leopard olive they're normally 16 dollars. i got them for 13.80 um and i got them in a 10. they are the wide fit slip on sandals so if you have wide feet i will say i think they run about true to size um i'm probably a nine and a half wide and these are a 10 so maybe they're even a little bit on the small side um but i do have very wide feet and these actually fit so I love the nude color of these. They have no arch support whatsoever. Um, I don't think I would do a ton of walking in them, but if you were just looking for like a slip on pair of nude flats, I'll pull my skirt up so you can really see the full effect. Um, I think these are totally, totally cute. No heel whatsoever, like none. So let me get a little close up for you. They are kind of like a faux suede material. Um, I think they look cheap to be honest with you, but they're fine. You know, I wouldn't do like Disneyland them, but I wouldn't mind wearing them to the grocery store. I think they're cute. 
So those are the 10 wine. So we just did hat, earrings, shirt, belt, skirt, and, and shoes. Six of the items. I'll be right back. All right, here is the first of seven dresses. Um, I will let you get a little closer so you can kind of see what the fit is. This is the Plus G-U-I <laughs> Pure, Gooey Pure Lace Insert Ruffle Hem Dress in a 1XL. This is in pink. It also comes in black, burgundy, and dusty blue. Normally $19. I got it for $16.39. Um, I think this one's too big, but I like the color. This is a nice pink color. Um, it's odd. It's a one act, so you would think it would fit me because I'm about a 14, 16 right now. But I would say this one's size down. Um, it is very wrinkled right now, but this is what they're talking about when they say lace insert. I think it's too big. Yeah, definitely too big. I think maybe if you were really busty, this would be good, but it's too big in the shoulders on me. And I have very large arms and these sleeves are very large. <laughs> and honestly, a little too long too. Like I could fit my whole hand in there. So again, if you were, this is the perfect woman for this dress. Busty, long arms. <laughs> you will love this dress. Okay, so it's not very um, fitted in the waist. I probably could have done, gone down a size. I wonder if they didn't have this size smaller and that's why I chose this size, I'm not sure. But let me step back a little. It is an A-line flowy dress and it does have kind of a ruffle at the bottom. This is too big. I think it looks like a pajama set, you know? Uh, but I do like it. I like that it has like the lace at the waist. Like it has such potential to be really cute. Hold on, let me, let me give you the fall look here. Like, come on, I look like I'm yeah, it could be cute. I think it's too big on me, like obviously too big in the bust, so. But a good price. Fabric is very thin, would not keep you warm, and the sleeves are huge. Size down if you like this one. All right, here is the next one. I think I like this one. So let me tell you about it while you're kind of staring at it. One thing to note, this is supposed to be burgundy. I would call this a true red. We will discuss, but. This is the Shein Plus Flutter Sleeve Twist Detail Wrap Hem Dress in a 0XL 12 burgundy. Hmm. Comes in coral pink and baby blue as well. Um, this was $24 and I got it for $20.70. So one major thing, this isn't burgundy. If you were hoping for burgundy, you got fire engine red. That's okay. It does have the twist front. I love the sleeves. They're like just a little above the elbow, but they're super flowy and fluttery. This is a 12, so I would say maybe I'm more like a 12, 14. I don't know. Um, but it definitely runs probably generous for a 12, maybe, I think. <laughs> I love this detail here. And again, I'm small busted and small waisted. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to show you the hem. It's kind of interesting. It does split. Um, I like this one. It is midi length. Uh, has a good amount of flow. It's not too clingy here because it has that second layer, so you're not seeing that like belly overhang too much. I do have like large saddlebags, so I think this is pretty flattering. Um, and it's not too wrinkled. I think this would travel well. It's very high necked. Just give you a little bit of spin here. I like this one. The fabric feels really nice. Um, more expensive than the dresses, $20. The neck is very high. I think it would really highlight a nice um, like layered necklace or something kind of look or even a scarf or but oh man this is a good dress like for a wedding guest. Really shows off the waist. Love it. I have dress number three on. I'll tell you now it's too small but let me tell you about it. It is the plus button front ruffle hem shirt dress without belt. <laughs> It does specify that because all the pictures have a belt in it in the pictures online, but it does say without belt. This is a zero XL in denim blue. This was probably the most expensive item. Uh, normally $26, I paid $22.42. I'm gonna scroll you down a little bit. So I would say this might be true to size, but it is puckering and uh, yeah, I would not wear this in public, but I like the hem. I think that flirty little frill there, just below my knee. Um, I love the hem, but it is puckering, like buttons are popping, <laughs> the sleeves are too tight. Um, but yeah, I could see how with a belt this would be really cute. It's a shirt dress. 
Um, I just think it's a little too small for me. It's tight in the arms, which doesn't surprise me. It crinkled when I, like, it made like crackling sounds when I put it on. So that might, uh, it does have some elastic back here. I bet if I like kind of popped a couple of those, I could gain a you know, half an inch back there. Let's get you up to the top. And it is collared. Um, so this, if you had like an office job with a little brown belt, brown shoes, um, this could be really cute. But I think on me, it's too tight. So the pink one was too big, the red one or the burgundy was perfect. This blue one's too small. What are you gonna do? Next, so that was dress number three. Let's get to dress number four of seven. Okay, this one I like. I can't keep like up and down in the camera, so we're just gonna chat for a second. This is the Emery Rose Plus Solid Hidden Pocket Dress in a 1XL of 14 in black. Normally $17, I paid $14.66. Um, I'm gonna stand up, it's just a long sleeve basic black dress. Um, A-line, hidden pockets as it says. Definitely big pockets too, I can fit my whole hand on both sides. Uh, to the knee, lightweight. The sleeves aren't too tight, this is exciting. Basic black solid dress for winter. I'm gonna put on that belt. Let's just see how we like that. This belt is tight. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. Imagine it with the denim jacket on top. Yes, I like this one. Now here's the funny thing. I got this almost exact same dress <laughs> in brown in a size down. So I'm a little nervous because this one fits so perfectly. But you kind of have to try, right? Like you don't know what size you are. And I was in between the measurements, I think. So I got one big and one small. So I like this one. I think the length is good. It's not too short for sure, not too long. Um, it moves well, and without a jacket, it's actually very comfy. Like, you could probably sleep in this. Um, yeah, it has a little seam under the bust, not see-through, lightweight fabric. High necks, I think this would be a really, another good showcase for a long necklace, or layering necklaces, or scarf, or something. Or if you had long hair, it'd look really pretty. And I did put it with my hat. I feel really cute in this. But it is not. So that last one was by Emery Rose. Um, this one doesn't say that. It's the plus hidden pocket solid dress. And the other one was the Emery Rose plus solid hidden pocket dress. <laughs> They're different, I swear. This one's in cognac. Um, it is normally $18, I got it for $15.52. I love the color. This one's different. The other one was like a soft cotton blend. I don't know if you can tell, this one is ribbed. And it's got like more of a balloony sleeve, more flowy sleeves. I love the color. It also has the seam here, just Past my knee, probably to the knee on someone a little taller. A-line, floats away, wonderful fabric, adore it. High neckline, same, but this one has like the interesting uh, wrinkles, like, you know, that's part of the design. I think it has a teeny tiny bit of a ruffle sleeve up there. It's not like, not too puff, not, you know, exaggerated, but it definitely has some shoulder detailing that the other one didn't. So, I don't know. It does seem like either my arms are short which they are, and this is supposed to be um, a three-quarter sleeve and you like slouch it, or I don't know, it's cut kind of awkward on me. Like, it's so too long to be a three-quarter sleeve, but too short to be a long sleeve, but I probably would just go ahead and, you know, do that. But I think this is a great basic, and I love the color. It's so pretty. Right, this is a dress that I actually sized up in, I think. Um, this is the only dress I got in a 2X. Uh, 16. This is the plus solid twist front rib dress in orange. Um, it's normally 18. I got it for 50, 15, 52. This is very similar to that red or burgundy one, but that one was more midi length and had more flowy sleeves that came down a little farther. This one is knee length with shorter sleeves. And this one does have kind of a weird a design here. It's like an overlay. So this leg has more coverage than that leg does. I don't hate it, but I am glad that I listened to the reviews. Um, and it said, you need a 16 in this one. And I was like, really? Because all the other dresses I got a 0X or a 1X. In this one, I got a 2X. No regrets on that. I don't know if I need an orange dress. I like the red one. I think if I was to, I might like return this one and buy a different shade in the red one. Because that one had a more accommodating sleeve for my large arms. I think this one just kind of 
draws attention to my arms, so I love that. And I did get the cognac and the red, so do I really need orange? But I have one more dress to show you guys. Again, high neck, mid arm sleeves. I like the ruching, but definitely size up in this one. This is the last item, um, the seventh of seven dresses. This is the Plus Paisley Print Lantern Sleeve Frill Trim in Black, 0XL12. Normally $27, this one was $23.27. So it is Paisley. I guess I'll let you guys get a little better look at it, the pattern. It's got a Paisley pattern. It says Lantern Sleeves. Like, I'm not familiar with that, but I guess these are Lantern. <laughs> They're nice, they're fine. It does have a line under the bust, floats away. This one is long, I'm gonna back up for you to see it. Um, but this one is a zero XL, so I would say it's a little bit tighter than I would probably want it, like especially, you know, the sleeves crimp, you know, crease when I move my arms. I think I will still keep it. Um, and again, the sleeves are kind of an awkward length, like they're too short to be long sleeved. And I'm only five foot two with short arms. I think they're too short. Um, but they're too long to be three quarter sleeves unless you push them up. But then the elastic is so tight on my forearm, I don't know that I would want to push them up. So I think I end up kind of having to wear them with that. <laughs> anyway, so it is a almost floor length. I would say it hits the top of my shoes, but um, it's not floor length. And I'm five foot two again. So if you're tall, this could be a midi. On me, it's nearly floor length, but not quite. It does have a, an ankle ruffle there, uh, probably about a, I don't know, 10 inch, eight inch ruffle towards the bottom. I do like this one. I definitely think I could use a size up, but like if we were in a store right now and they had it in the zero X or the one X, I would probably put the zero X backs and, and just buy the one X knowing it would fit fine. Um, but it just kind of, I'm going to show you from the side. Like it does kind of accentuate my pooch. Like this could be really, hold on, let's get, let's get the full maternity effect here. <laughs> this could be really cute if you were pregnant, you know, if you got it up a size. But yeah, I, I'm undecided on this one. I may let my husband get the final vote if I keep this one or not. But the fabric is not stretchy, um, but it's really pretty. And in the pattern, it's got kind of like a tan color. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, all in all, I think this is a really successful haul. I'm definitely returning the first pink dress that was too big, the blue dress that was puckering. I think I'm gonna go ahead and return the orange one. Um, just because like the sleeves weren't as nice as the red one, they were shorter, it was a little tighter, a little shorter. I just, I don't know if I love it. And because I got a red and a brown, do I need orange? Not really. Um, and then this one, again, I think it's just not, not the best fit, but I will, I'm still deciding. But that is everything that I got from Shein recently. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Due to the return, it may make another order. I don't know. We'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.